Hello hello royal folks. It's good to see you all here again, this is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry has been defended for touting the use of a Class A drug to treat his mental health by a professor who said it could be remarkably safe if used in the right circumstances. In an interview with physician Dr. Gabor Mate, the Duke of Sussex said ayahuasca, a plant-based psychedelic from the Amazon rainforest, helped him face his struggles with PTSD. Harry has faced backlash for his comments from several sources, including the family of a woman, who died after taking the drug and doctor and columnist Dr. Max Pemberton, who branded his remarks huge irresponsible. But Professor David Nutt, former chairman of the Home Office's Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs, ACMD, and who now heads up Imperial College London's Centre for Psychedelic Research, defended the Duke's position. Asked if Harry's comments had been dangerous, Professor Nutt told Express.co.uk, people need to know that ayahuasca, and other psychedelics, especially psilocybin, magic mushrooms, can be a very helpful new approach to mental illness, especially those caused by trauma such as PTSD. He added ayahuasca was remarkably safe if used under medical supervision. The professor, who has faced his own controversy after arguing that cannabis is less harmful than cigarettes or alcohol, said he had come across many patients who have benefited from ayahuasca. He said the drug has been especially effective for military veterans, adding, ayahuasca is used medically for this purpose in many Latin American countries and there is published literature on this from Brazil and Spain. During the intimate conversation with Dr. Marte, Harry revealed that while cannabis had really helped him, his cocaine and alcohol use were more social. The Royal described his experience using psychedelics, including ayahuasca, as the cleaning of the windshield, removal of life's filters. He added, it removed it all for me and brought me a sense of relaxation, release, comfort, a lightness that I managed to hold on to for a period of time. For me I started doing it recreationally and then started to realize how good it was for me. I would say it is one of the fundamental parts of my life that changed me and helped me deal with the traumas and the pains of the past. But the family of Jennifer Spencer, who took her own life in 2019 after she suffered psychosis from the drug on a yoga retreat in Peru, criticized the Duke for his statements. Jenny's aunt Fiona Chase, 73, from Andover, Hampshire, told The Sun, he should not be speaking positively about this drug. It's irresponsible because a lot of people look up to him. It worked for him, but it certainly didn't work for Jenny. Like every drug, different people react differently. After the inquest into Ms. Spencer's death, East Sussex assistant coroner James Healy Pratt issued a prevention of future death report in which he issued an urgent alert to the NHS, calling for more awareness among mental health professionals of the use of shamanic hallucinogens. Tory MP Nigel Mills added to the outlet, Harry's comments are clearly dangerous. What he said is a disgrace. Dr. Max Pemberton similarly slammed the Duke's remarks, claiming he had no understanding of the serious damage the substances could cause, particularly for those from a less privileged background. He said the drug was often promoted by the trendy middle classes, but can cause panic attacks and paranoia, as well as physical side effects like vomiting and diarrhea. In his live stream with Dr. Marte, who has himself administered ayahuasca to hundreds of his patients in the past, Harry opened up about his drug and alcohol use in his teenage years, providing a startling new insight into how the royal coped with his mental health. So what do you think about this news guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Thank you.